And there I was, as crook as Rookwood. Yeah. From a big night on the squirt, I was two bob in the dollar. My entire body hurt. I scrambled for Baraka, but there was none left in the house. So I sucked a tube of toothpaste to get a clean taste in my mouth. But my tongue went into spasms. There was an explosion in my head. I took a quick look at the tube. Oh, I'd used the Denka rub instead. I went racing for the fridge to find something wet and cold. Took a great big skull of milk. Oh, but the stuff was three weeks old. My stomach just convulsed as I heaved right on the floor. I might be mine up there and then I wasn't drinking anymore. I rang the boss and said, oh, I'm crooked. Came on with that warning. I heard you looked OK at yeah. 2 o'clock this morning. Jeez, Billy Jackson's send-off. It all came flooding back. Red wine and triple Bundy's. Oh, I must have spent a stack. You remember Mr Haas. He's just flown in from overseas. Be here at 12 o'clock with your presentation, please. Hell, I'd lied to him on Monday. I said the thing was set to go. The big campaign for Haas's boxer shorts, I'd barely struck a blow. I quickly had a shave, ironed a shirt, brushed my hair, went sprinting for the station, near fell down the stairs, grabbed some Tic Tacs from the shop, barged onto the train, and had to somehow find a way to re-engage my brain. But the motion of the rattler made my stomach feel, oh, quite sickly. And it soon became apparent. I had to find a toilet. Quickly. I began to cramp up in strange places. I had to clench me cheeks. At this point, a girl got on who I'd been eyeing off for weeks. She asked politely... How are you going? I said, uh, not too bad. These seriously were the worst bum cramps I'd ever bloody had. I tried pleasant conversation, but my pain was now on show. The train pulled up at Wynyard and I said, I've really got to go. I knew running could be fatal, but saw the dunny stay composed. A sign said, cleaning now in progress. Sorry, toilet closed. Well, sorry doesn't cut it two blocks away from work. I had to climb the station stairs and that really bloody hurt. But then a, oh, a rumble in my belly seemed to take the pressure off. Thank God I'd now regained control. But I knew I couldn't cough. Relief was only temporary. I'd done this trip before. Ten minutes at the outside, but it's hard to tell for sure. I made the office, got the lift, every light was lit. I had to last eight floors or I'd be really in a lot of strife. Someone had a bunch of flowers. Oh no, here comes a sneeze. I somehow stopped it, then I swallowed, which near dropped me to my knees. The cramp reignited along with fear and sweat. The eight floor ding rang out like thunder, but I wasn't home just yet. Ten dodgy steps from heaven. But I began to sense more trouble. As I gripped the dunny door, my need to go then sort of doubled. It knew I was really close, and I don't know how it knows. Some gastro guts like telepathic toilet thing, I suppose. Back and in, pants half down. Oh, three feet was close enough. Control threw in the towel, and it was eye of needle stuff. Look, I won't go into details, but I have to tell you straight. If relief was a commodity, I'd have bought out Billy Gates. You can't explain the pleasure. It was nearly worth the pain. But guess what? No toilet paper. I was up that creek again. Oh, desperate times, desperate measures. You know what I mean. I left the dunny minus undies, but hey, at least my bum was clean. I ran to the conference room where Mr Haas was holding court. He warmly shook my hand. Oh. Good to see you, Spot. I hear you've got something really special. I tell you, I'm excited. Just then that sneeze I'd somehow swallowed. Well, it rushed back uninvited. I turned around and doubled over as it exploded through my nose. That's when my trousers split, and all I had was now on show. The trick was not to panic, but think of something fast. But to be honest, I had nothing. So I just mumbled, kiss my ass. I was deafened by the silence. There was tension in the air. The boss near choked a chook. Mr Haas just stared. Did you say kiss my ass? 
Yeah, 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 that's it. Uh, kiss my ass if you want the classic boxer fit. <laughs> then Mr. Haas, he burst out laughing. That's number one. First class. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to tell the boys back home. They all can kiss my ass. The campaign was a hit. Boxer sales went through the roof. The boss still thinks I fluked it, and there's no doubt that's the truth. But I'm not owning up. At work, you take things as they come. See, the day that changed my life was when I sneezed and bared me bum. On a small piece of advice, before a big night at the pub, buy fresh milk and Baraka, oh yeah, and lock up the Dengar up.